Okay, so hello Grasshopper and Leap Motion Controller users. This is a demo for Primate uh, from McEwen Studio. Uh, so Primate is a plugin for the Leap Motion Controller to interact with Grasshopper. Uh, this is Grasshopper open in Rhino, which is the Grasshopper is the algorithmic editor within Rhino, allowing you to do parametric geometry. Uh, so I'm going to show first the demo file that's included in the Primate download and then a second demo file um, that I'm, I've just released on the McEwen Studio website for download. Uh, so this is the demo file that's included within Primate. Uh, and so effectively what you're seeing here, <coughs> this is grid demo Primate 1 it's called, is that you're seeing a grid that populates depending upon the number of fingers that are held over the Leap Motion Controller with the fingers component and also uh, tracking of the, the palm moving above the Leap Motion Controller. And all of that is happening in three dimensions. You'll notice that the grid is also changing horizontally and that's based on the, the speed of the, the palm. So each component has uh, multiple outputs. Um, well, except for the fingers, which is just the number of fingers, obviously. Um, so the data that you're seeing here, um, the palm position is being recorded, recorded in a, uh, a recorder component, which if I turn off the leap tracking, which I can do at the, the bottom of the screen there, and I rotate, you'll see those points from the palm um, are, are in the recorder, which um, can then become a, a point field uh, can be interpolated as a, as a curve connecting between them or become manipulated in, in any way within Grasshopper. Um, so that's the, the first demo, which is just very basic on those two components. The second demo, which I'm showing for the first time here, um, is, is a little bit more developed in terms of, in terms of something that actually uh, approaches uh, uh, what one might want to investigate in a project, something that, that I'm looking at in terms of interactive wall systems. Uh, so this is uh, the second demo file, which is available on McEwen Studio. Uh, if you go to Research, Primate Geometry has its own page there where you can download this second demo file that I'm about to show. So when I turn the timer on here, what you're seeing is <coughs> the palm component. Um, the palm component bringing in data interactively. So this is responding, um, each of these panels are, is responding, um, it's obviously taking in this, this data from the palm and then reorienting based on that. And so this, these series of planes are um, applied to a surface with a subdivision. So just to show folks who may not be as familiar with Grasshopper, these remain parameter based so that the number of subdivisions within this lofted surface can be manipulated at the same time that this interactive uh, field is responding to the palm motion coming in from the leap motion controller. Uh, so that's part of um, this, what I, what I will release as far as this kind of wall system. I know I had mentioned on Food for Rhino um, also this vector charge, uh, which I will, I will show in the next demo, um, in, which develops not only this kind of responsiveness to the palm, but also uh, based on the kind of position, the responsiveness of the rotation depending on the, the position as well, which you'll see is being tracked um, there with that, that point. So that point could also be used as a, as a point charge. Uh, so this demo file is available in addition to on the McEwen Studio website. It's available, um, <clears throat> I've added the link to it on the foodforrhino.com page for Primate so that you can click and download it from the foodforrhino.com Primate page which includes all of the, the comments and my response to the comments. If you have any questions, please post them there or email primate at McEwenStudio.com. Thank you.